This video will introduce you to the southern chinch bug, Blissus insularis, its feeding damage, life cycle, various factors that may affect its populations, and then different ways to manage infestations in St. Augustine grass lawns. Many of us like coming home to a nicely manicured landscape, but sometimes different pests can enjoy it too. In St. Augustine grass lawns in the United States, and especially in Florida, a major pest is the southern chinch bug. The nymphs and adults tend to stay in groups down in the thatch. They feed by poking their needle-like mouthparts into the grass stem and sucking out plant fluids. When a large population exists in an area, the St. Augustine grass first starts to yellow, then brown. Its growth rate slows down. Patches of grass die and seem to enlarge as the insects spread out in search of more grass to feed on. The damage is seldom circular or with a clearly defined edge. It often first appears near sidewalks or other hardscapes that are in full sun or that may receive less irrigation. Parts of lawns that are in full sun are hotter than shady areas and are probably more stressed, which makes that area more susceptible to damage by chinch bugs or even other pests. So an easy way to figure out if chinch bugs are really what are causing the damage to the grass is to get down, part the grass, and see if any nymphs or adults are running around. It's best to do this between 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. when the insects are most active and when the grass is dry. Another way to monitor for chinch bugs is to use a gas-powered blower vac. We put a fine mesh or chiffon material at the end of the tube, duct tape it around the tube so it doesn't fall off, and have air suck in instead of blowing out. A smaller version of this could be the dust buster, but it doesn't have as much suction power. After you've sampled several areas near the damaged grass, dump the debris from the blower vac into a bucket or a gallon bag and see what's running around. In addition to chinch bugs, you may see springtails, plant or leaf hoppers, tiny beetles, ants, small caterpillars, spiders, and other predatory insects like big-eyed bugs. You know you have southern chinch bugs if you see small orange-red nymphs with a white stripe across their backs. If the white stripe is missing, you may be looking at a predatory bug that looks a lot like chinch bugs. Older nymphs are darker in color and nearly black, but they still have that white stripe. It takes around five to six weeks for a newly emerged nymph to develop into an adult, depending on the temperature outside. Adults have either short or long wings. Males, like the one on the left, are typically a little smaller than females. Females can lay several eggs every day for up to two months. Chinch bugs like to hide in St. Augustine grass thatch. Thatch is a layer of dead and decaying organic matter between the living upper part of a grass plant, or the grass blades, and the soil layer. It is important for lawn health to minimize thatch buildup. Appropriately irrigating a St. Augustine grass lawn is also important to minimize drought stress and help it tolerate some insect feeding damage. A lot of dead spots in lawns are incorrectly blamed on chinch bugs when it is really an irrigation problem or something else. There are other creatures that feed on chinch bugs and help to naturally keep chinch bug numbers down. The best known predator is the big-eyed bug. There are at least two species that are common and can sometimes be misidentified as chinch bugs. Big-eyed bugs are easy to ID if you see their bulging eyes. One species is nearly all black and lacks the white wings that, with the black triangle that southern chinch bug adults have. This is what a healthy chinch bug egg looks like when it is close to hatching. It's very hard to see these eggs down in the thatch, so you're not likely to find them. However, there is a parasitoid that attacks and kills chinch bug eggs. Parasitized eggs are more brown, and the shape of a wasp can sometimes be seen in one when it's close to emerging. The adult wasp is on the right side of this picture. These tiny wasps will not sting people and are practically invisible because of their small size. Insect pathogenic fungi have not been very successful at reducing chinch bug numbers but we have occasionally found populations in Florida that are infected with a Hercetella species. An infected adult is shown here. 
and there is potential that a metarhizium strain could become commercially available. The old standby, though, has been to use insecticides to prevent chinch bug damage from ever occurring on a lawn. Insecticides can be very useful tools if mixed and applied appropriately, but because of repeated applications each year without rotating products in chem different chemical classes or with different modes of action, southern chinch bug populations keep developing resistance to insecticides. It is important to be proper stewards of the pest management tools that we have available in the urban landscape because few new insecticides are being developed for our use. Remember that more is not better and to read and understand the instructions on a pesticide label before ever opening the container. Pesticide applicator training is available in most county extension offices, so take advantage of your local resources so that you can have a healthy landscape and enjoy it too. Thank you for watching this University of Florida video, which was created by Dr. Eileen Buss in the Entomology and Nematology Department. Funding for this video was provided by the United States Department of, of Agriculture Pesticide Management Alternatives Program.